the Bald Knob Train. My name is Josh, and I'm your conductor today. I'm the guy standing on the front of the train. More importantly, I'm also your commentator today. Again, my name is Josh. Feel free to ask me any questions you might have. As we start out, we're going to be traveling down the old Chesapeake and Ohio Railroad. Then once we reach the water tank just ahead, we'll turn on to the old West Virginia pulp and paper logging branch line. And we'll travel the 11 miles up the logging railroad to Ball Knob, 11 miles back down the mountain to Cass, giving us a 22 mile round trip, and we will return at about 5 o'clock this afternoon. Also as we start out, I'd like to go over a few safety rules with you, so please listen up. First of all, there is no sitting on the handrails on the side of the car. A sudden jerk of the train could easily knock someone over the side. Also, please do not sit or lean on the chains on the end of each car, and there's no moving between cars when the train is in motion. Now, feel free to stand inside your own car to move from one side to the next, but do not cross between two cars when the train moves. Now, if you have an emergency and you need to use the restroom, we do have a restroom on the train. It's directly in the center of the train on car D and car G. So if you take advantage of the restroom, like I said, in case of an emergency, get on board of a train crew member. We will help assist you across the cars when the train moves. Also, parents, if you have small children, please do not hold them over the side of the train. We're going to blow the whistle in just a second. Heads up on that.
going alongside the track is called Leather Bark Run. Leather Bark Run starts just a short distance below Wall Tom and is close eight miles south of the side of the mountain to reach the Green Briar River and Cap.
the far side of that mountain range and travel to the Atlantic Ocean. But all the rain that falls on this side of the Allegheny Mountains travels all the way to the Gulf of Mexico. That's called the Appalachian Eastern Divide. Now, in just a moment, the locomotive is going to blow the whistle again. So here's another producer recording of the whistle blowing on the locomotive. And on the uphill side of the train, look back towards the locomotive. And as soon as we're about to finish out this right-hand curve, the locomotive will blow the whistle as we enter Whitaker Station.
Vermont, West Virginia, forming Cheat Lake.